The next thing we're going to do, and I'm just going to orbit around so that we can see the top of the house a little bit better. Um, the next thing we're going to do is to create a roof. And so we'll first start by creating a rectangle here, clicking and dragging, and hopefully it should look like that. And then we're going to draw a line down the middle of the roof. So again, we'll go line tool and just, we're going to go from the very outside this time, midpoint to midpoint on the opposite side, and we're going to select it. All right. Um, now we're going to select the move tool. If your line is broken into several pieces, then you might have some trouble um, because your house is probably not yet in a group. So make sure you go back to the previous step and make sure that your ho whole house is a group, if that's the case. With this move tool, you're going to move this up directly and you can actually press the up button in order to make sure that it extrudes in the proper manner. If I don't, it might, uh, it might go off to the side. So it's just going on this one axis and I'm just going to come up this far. Obviously you can orbit a little bit if you're not sure how high up you're going. And of course um, you can use this distance tool here to make sure that you have the roof at the proper pitch if you're looking for a specific one. So the distance is in the bottom, but I'm not actually going to adjust it to, an, to a, a certain length. All right. So I'm stopping. That looks kind of weird from this angle. And so what I'm going to do now is just orbit back around just so that we can see it from a bunch of different angles. The next thing uh, that we're going to do is just draw a couple of lines at the base of the roof and, uh, and just the, at the bottom of these triangles, and that's going to close the roof off. So let's go to line again, one and two, just like that. And then we're going to make the roof a group. So um, one part of the issue here is that we don't only want just these two side panels of the roof and the top parts like these to be a group. We also want the underside of it to be a group. And so the, what we're going to do now is we're just going to click back to our selector tool, select the base, right click, and we're going to hide it. What we'll be able to see now is that we've actually now isolated the entire roof. And that's great because now we want to group the roof itself. So we're going to click the space bar. We're going to, again, from the right to the bottom, the top right to the bottom left, click and drag. And then what we'll see is that the whole roof is highlighted. We'll then right click, go down to make group, and we're going to go back to edit. Sorry, first. We're going to click out of it, go back to edit, and we're going to unhide everything. So now your whole house is here. All right, so now we're going to add materials to the exterior of the house using the paint bucket. Um, so let's get that paint bucket out. This is going to be a little bit, a little bit weird here. Um, okay, so let's see what we want. Let's try some brick. Let's do some brick siding. So I'll start with this, and all I'm going to do is boom like that. And that's going to both do the inside and the outside, and I'll show you how to fix that in a moment. And now let's look at the shingles. So let's do some, um, let me see, roofing. Let's do some of these, these shingles here. All right. So that looks like pretty sketch right now so far, but that is what we have. Um, but anyway, that shows you how to do the exterior. Then what we're going to do is just click out of this. We're going to now hide the roof and look inside. And um, one problem is that we've built this house out of bricks, but we've built the whole damn house out of bricks. Like the ground is bricks, the walls are bricks. That's just not realistic. And so in order to fix this problem, we're gonna click the space bar, then we're gonna double click this house. And what that does is it allows us to isolate the various components. And so let's say that I wanna do um, some carpet. So let's say we're all about the carpet and we go with this like ugly yellow carpet and we want that here and we want that here in adjacent rooms. And now let's say that we want to just paint the walls a certain color. So we want this like weird looking blue here and we want it 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 here. Boom. Right. We can do that. We can orbit around and make sure all our walls are that color. 
so we can like reselect and I accidentally reselected a slightly different color but it is okay boom boom all right and um, so let's say that we want to add some furniture to this joint let's go up to Oh, let's first get rid of this and let's go to the 3d warehouse and let's do furniture now how about I want this like wooden chair maybe okay and now it lets me take this this chair and drop it wherever I would like it And again, this might be more helpful to just orbit here. All right, and now I'm placing my chair there with the move tool. And uh, right now I'm feeling like real good about my, my sketch little home. Um, Okay, so now I've got my, my home ready to go. It's got a chair in it. And now I'm gonna, put a, uh, I'm gonna put the roof back on. So I'll just make sure that I've selected out of everything. And I'm just gonna go to unhide. Okay, so pretty little house. It's looking good. Um, now let's make the, uh, this a neighborhood. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to make this house what's called a component. And in order to do that, we are going to select it, all of it, and right click it and say make component. Would you look at that? I'm going to name this Maggie's uh, Cottage. I almost said house, but let's say it's a cottage and let's create that. All right. So um, here, let's make let's make more of them. So okay. Here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna press. Um, we're gonna select the entire component, which it looks like we've done, and then we're gonna press M to engage the move copy tool. Then we'll click anywhere on the screen and hit the control option. Um, I'm sorry, we'll hit option on our Mac to copy the component. We can move the house and copy along the red axis. Um, you'll notice in the lower right, you can type in how far apart you want your copy to be. So let's say I do 100 feet and just click enter. Wow, doesn't that look great? So we've got this house 100 feet from the other house. And now uh, if I want actually not to immediately copy this five times, I can just immediately write times five in that field without really clicking down there or anything and click enter. And if I zoom out, I see this really creepy looking neighborhood with identical homes. Would you look at that? All right. So I'm creating a cul-de-sac is a little bit more challenging. We're gonna use the rotate tool and we're gonna press Alt to copy. So um, let me select it. All right, we're gonna press the rotate tool. All right, and so if I did the same thing there with the rotate tool, it wasn't a very big angle that I did, but you can see how they're starting to come along the edge like that. And so you can imagine that you could create an even bigger cul-de-sac just with using this same tool. So I hope that this has been a helpful tutorial for you in getting started with SketchUp. And obviously this is the very most basic uh, 
type of home you could create that has this rectangular base and this uh, triangular looking top and it barely really had any other features than a couple, than a couple of windows and a couple of doors. Um, the next task that we're going to be asking you to do is to create a model of the classroom and so that will be significantly more challenging and will require you to make your own measurements. Um, so thank you guys for watching and happy uh, sketching up.